It's always, you know, that when October comes around, we see these walks and it's yeah. always like, you know, well, could, yeah. Yeah, could go either way. And I'll tell you what, today was one of those days that you had to spend at least a little bit of time outside, whether it's you were beautiful. down at the link, which uh, yeah, I wasn't, but I know a lot of people <laughs> were. Uh, also, just being outside from the shore to the city up toward the mountains, it was beautiful and temperatures cooperated too. Yeah, yeah. I threw on a skirt earlier. <laughs> well, you might want to cover up a little bit more for the week oh, ahead. Yeah, stay tuned because we have the cooler seven day forecast coming your way. Let's walk over to the wall, show you what's happening for the record today. We made it to 84 degrees. Even I was surprised a little bit warmer than we thought. We knew we would make it to the low 80s, but we were knocking on the door mid 80s. Keep in mind the average high this time of year 68 degrees. The record 87, only three degrees away from that. That was many, many years ago. We are not anywhere near that cooling down now into the 70s. Then now the next couple of hours we will have a few clouds here and there. We might with this cold front to our north as it passes through, get a shower, maybe a stray rumble of thunder, mainly north of the city, but we are not expecting anything significant. And truth be told, it would be good news for us to get a little bit of rain because we are all abnormally dry. Some of us in a moderate drought, some of us in a severe drought, and we don't have any real major chances of rain coming our way. So as we get into tomorrow morning, yes, we'll have a few clouds for the early part of that morning commute. Then we're back to mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Lows in the 50s and 60s, highs in the 50s and 60s. It's that struggle. Overnight, we're relatively mild. But then during the day, we've got fresh, cool air coming in, and that's going to put a cap on our temperature. So tomorrow, only 65. That is a 19 degree difference from today. Yes, you're going to feel it tomorrow afternoon. So Tuesday, we start things off in the 30s and 40s easily. If you haven't put your heat on yet, you're likely to do so Tuesday morning and by the afternoon. We're only in the 50s. We stay in the 40s in the Poconos. So rain chances. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with the graphic. 0% again, other than a stray shower tonight for the week ahead and even into next weekend, we're going to stay mostly sunny to partly cloudy with virtually no chances of rain. And then there you go. That's why we have the drought situation at hand. Moderate drought for areas like Philadelphia back toward the main line and then all the way back toward Delaware. Moderate drought for a good portion of central and southern Jersey. And then there's a part of Burlington and Atlanta County and even the eastern edge of Camden County under the severe drought. It's going to start being a bigger deal as we get into the next couple of weeks if we don't get any significant chance of rain. Let's talk about temperatures. Average high this time of year, 68 degrees. Today, we know we were well above that. We're close tomorrow. Then we're only down into the 50s and low 60s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We don't get back to where we should be until Friday. This is going to be a week where if you haven't had a coat on yet either, likely going to have to have one coming up. Tomorrow morning's Monday morning commute looking like a pretty mild start, partly cloudy and bright. And temperatures in the low to middle 60s by the end of that commute. Let's talk about the shore tomorrow. 68, partly cloudy, windy, southwest, turning northwest at around 10 to 15. Lehigh Valley around 60 degrees and again 65 in the city of Philadelphia. Here's your seven day forecast now. 59 on Tuesday, bright but chilly for Wednesday. And yes, some of us will even be in the 30s in the city by Friday morning. The good news is that we start to warm back up. If you're craving sun, but also a little bit of warmth, might have to wait till next weekend. By Saturday into next Sunday, we're back into the low and middle 70s. Aziza?